first of all, thank you very much. It's an honor, sir, to meet you thank and you. have a chat, this chat with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my first question, obviously, I'm a film critic. I have to ask first, mm -hmm. as, as a film critic, mm -hmm. you begin as a film critic, as the film critic has changed along these years? You know, it's, 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 it's always a difficult uh, question because it's, uh, to me, uh, writing about movies while I was like film school. I was, I, I, was, I was very young at the time and uh, I didn't go to film school. I studied uh, art. Uh, fr art, French literature. And uh, so d writing about film is, was a way of trying to imagine how I would make my own films. Try to, uh, try to figure out exactly what attracted me, how I could start making my own films, and, uh, and the minute I felt I was uh, ready for that, <laughs> I left film criticism behind. You left him behind, but, yes. but now your reaction when you read the film critic for oh, your well, film? Well, my reaction? Um, you know, it's, I, I think I'm interested in film writing because because I've done it so so uh, I, I think I have more uh, respect or more interest for 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 film criticism than other filmmakers because I've been uh, so it's been it, it was my job at some yeah. point so 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 I think that uh, the dialogue you have with uh, with film critics film writers is is an important part of um, Cinema. I mean, in the sense that, uh, but uh, but I, I I I'm not that interested in film criticism that give uh, two stars, three stars, or well, you know that kind <laughs> yes, of that, you know that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's not uh, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you have people who write about your movie, and somehow I don't care if they like it or not, but who at least analyze it and think about it in ways that open a new uh, that you know that make me realize, understand this or that. You know. It's a, it's a, uh, um, I'm always interested because I'm always interested by the way your work is filtered by your audience. And I think everybody does that and reinvents the film. And in a certain way, I think that's what film critics do. They reinvent the films in their own way. And they, they, they kind of reveal a movie that was there and you were eventually not aware of. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of exciting. It can be exciting. Now, as a film director, first of all, the set. How do you manage, or how do you like to manage your set? Oh. Depends, yeah. depends on the film? Okay, yes, yes, yes. But the, what, what it always has in common is that the least possible people okay. don't move the furniture around, please, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Uh, no rehearsals, no, rehearsals. Uh, no marks on the ground. Uh, you know, no for the for even for the focus puller or for the grip or whatever. You know, you respect the environment, you respect the set, and uh, because it's what it's what, the actors need it to feel that the situation is real. You know, so so if you start uh, moving stuff around, all of a sudden it becomes a film set uh, uh, when you want to keep it real in a certain way. Uh, and and uh, and uh, so zero rehearsal for the take for the crew for the actors, uh, and what the, and the best I can give to my actors, which is what it's all about, is a s silence, concentration, and uh, whatever they need, you know. To, to and the actors, uh, all, all the actors needs. I mean, the, all the actors don't need exactly the same things. You have to be, you to try to understand what's best for each of them. Okay, but. You have your set. What is first, the set or the camera? Depends. Depends because depends because uh, sometime I would reorganize the set based on the based on the way I have imagined the shot. You know, like like, like uh, I design my shot my shots in the morning before coming on the set. I never do that uh, before. No, not at all. But I describe them. I have like like, like long descriptions, the written description of the shots, which I do like every morning, very early, before before sunrise. <laughs> I realize when I'm doing that that I will have to move. I will need the specific uh, pieces of furniture here or there, and that and a, at a table. I thought it was on on this other side of the set. Maybe I will move it here. So I will reorganize the set in the morning. Okay. To, to fit the, the way I designed the shots. Okay, you told me that, no rehearsals. So that opened the, uh, opened the way, opened a big door for improvisation. Do you like the improvisation? Uh, depends on the films. Okay. Depends on the films, depends on the actors. Some actors are more comfortable with it, some less. 
So when, when, when I feel that they don't like it that much, I don't push it and I, I don't force them. But sometimes, but sometimes I, uh, uh, some actors, I can be on a, on a very similar wavelength and then I can, uh, you know, I can let them uh, try crazy things. That's what happens with Juliette Binoche, that's what happens for, for instance, or, or with uh, Vincent McCain in, uh, in, the, in the new film, in non-fiction. Um, it's, uh, but again, uh, you, it's always uh, a mix, when, when you, discuss uh, improvisation, it means that you let the actors improvise, but it also means that you're improvising yourself. Me meaning, you know, when, they, when all of a sudden they try this or that, I would tell them, oh, this was great, I mean, keep that line, I love it, and why don't you try answering this? So I'm also trying to invent new stuff on the set based on what has been, you know, generated by the actors. But for example, but you consider that in your mind, for example, it, the script is never ending. Because, because if you allow the improvisation and that line guy, in, if that line... Uh, you know, the, the, okay, I mean, to me, uh, I would be much more comfortable if I didn't have to provide a screenplay. Because, 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 it's, it's the, the scre because you think about a film, you imagine a film, and the screenplay is when you have to freeze it, you know? And, uh, uh, but, but it's only a tiny moment. It's like freezing a process that will that started long before and will go on, on long after. And uh, um, screenplay, so in that sense, uh, sc the screenplay is all, is, has to be the starting point. The film has to go much further than wh whatever the screenplay is and wherever the screenplay is at. So it's uh, so uh, uh, I, I will try day after day, shot after shot, just to transcend it, to go further than whatever was initially in the screenplay. But it's something it's something that happens in the casting process because usually you have actors who are much more. Uh, who, uh, who have much more life or reality than whatever you have imagined. You know, like step by step, you make things bigger, more complex, more alive, ultimately. It's, it's, a, it's all about keeping the doors of the film open to real life. Okay, two more questions. My, uh, editing. For some directors, they say the editing is the most painful part. For you? Oh, it's my favorite part. What? Uh, because uh, because the movie is there and you can reinvent it, you can re you can you find the right uh, you, you know it's uh, it's uh, you you don't have the anxieties of the shoot you, you don't have the anxiety of preparing the film when you you don't you don't even know if the film is going to happen or you don't have the anxiety of the of the of the of, of the shoot when uh, you know every fa every every you 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 have a million practical problems and you have again always to struggle to get things wherever you want to take them when you're editing it's done but at the same time you can completely reshuffle it reinvent it you can uh, you, it's 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 fascinating because you discover stuff your actors have been doing you were hardly aware of you can try music you, you know it's it's uh, and and and, uh, and you know you you it's quiet it's focused uh, I, and I, I'm, I'm, the, the thing is, and, and I, I, I have to be there every day. You know, obviously, I, you know, I, I love the process of editing, and I, I do edit my, 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 my own films. And, and, and I think it's the only other job I would be able to do in cinema. I, I some guys, some young guys, young filmmakers are making films on cell phones, on cell phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? Great. You know, to, it's, it's, a, it's a camera, like another camera. You know. The issue is what is the, the, the issue is not the machine. I mean, you can uh, you, 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 if, if you, you, you you can uh, make a uh, make a movie with a microwave oven. Like, you know, who cares? You know, it's, it's the, the issue is uh, the, the the issue is what is in front of the camera. No, no. It's so, so it's it's the, the tool. You know, you a phone. Uh, you, you can call it a phone, but if you use it to film, it's called. A, I, I would call it a camera. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, because it it serves the same purpose and basically. Uh, doesn't bring an, uh, any major cha change to whatever a camera does. Um, it's, no, uh, wh what is great is that you have all those new tu tools that allow you to make films in much lighter and cheaper condition, which is great. Uh, the, 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 and, and I think that uh, uh, wh what is so, so uh, frightening to me is how you have all those tools that let that, that make it possible to make s uh, movies in situations of absolute freedom, of lightness, of uh, 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 which is the highest uh, value in uh, in filmmaking, and 
the industry is going the opposite way. They're making movies that are bigger and bigger, with bigger and bigger crews, and, uh, and bigger and bigger and bigger rules, and, uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, it's, it's, I think that uh, sometimes what scares me is the way the cinema is going to the op in the opposite direction of what is happening right now, is, and it's such an open door of, on, on creative freedom. Thank you very much for Thank your you time. Thank you for being Thank a great master. Thank you. Thank you.